Welcome, welcome everybody to Sofa King Devon. Remember to say that slowly. The Marvel Universe is huge. From comics to movies, it's superheroes galore. X-Men, Avengers, Spider-Man, whatever Deadpool is, you get it. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby created a massively successful universe that is going stronger than ever. And as the MCU grows into the size of the comics, we are beginning to see heroes and teams that haven't been mentioned for years. So today, I'd like to dive into one of Marvel's first teams that started over 60 years ago. So join me as I dive deeper into Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four. My patient was given each power from the Fantastic Four for one hour. We were hoping this would help determine which the best one was. It did not work. So, you can stretch every part of your body? Yeah, my arms, my legs, my neck, my back. It's crazy. Every part? Oh, that's the first thing I tried. Want to see? No, 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 no. Let's see. So, you can go invisible now? Yep. Is there a light glow or a watery look when you disappear, or are you completely invisible? Completely invisible. I see. And what are your thoughts on these powers? I see why they gave them to a woman. So, the human torch. How does it feel to be engulfed in flames? The fire. It purifies. Uh, okay. Well, have you tried to make coffee or maybe heat some soup? I tried to toast my sandwich and I burned my house down. Okay, well, you can fly, right? That was pretty cool. I ended up incinerating some birds as I flew by, though. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. This is hell. The others got cool powers. What the hell happened to you? This is terrible. I'm so heavy. I break every chair, every car, every elevator I'm in. You look disgusting and you smell. The only thing that could love me is a blind woman. Now, how would you rate this superpower out of 10? Oh, 10. Probably an 8. Six, 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 zero. Created by the great Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, the original members of the Fantastic Four are Reed Richards, Susan Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm. They go by the hero names of Mr. Fantastic, the Invisible Woman, Human Torch, and The Thing. Since the beginning, this group has never worried about secret identities. They don't wear masks and have always been known to the public by their real names. Their headquarters is in New York City, on the corner of 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. They get their powers after traveling to space and getting hit with radiation and cosmic rays. From this accident, Mr. Fantastic can stretch his body like rubber. The Invisible Woman can turn invisible and create shields. The Human Torch can fly, shoot fire, and is engulfed in flames. And the Thing has super strength with a body of stone. The Fantastic Four's first issue was released in November 1961. X-Men and the Avengers had their first issue published in 1963. Other members of the Fantastic Four have been the Black Panther, Ant-Man, She-Hulk, Wolverine, and Luke Cage. Much like Captain America, the Fantastic Four have also fought Hitler. Well, it was a clone, but still counts. And in issue number 52, T'Challa the Black Panther was first introduced into Marvel. Throughout the run of the Fantastic Four, there have been a lot of storylines. Ben could transform himself into his human form for a while, then he lost his powers, so She-Hulk stepped in. Human Torch and the Thing left for a while. Mr. Fantastic was dead for some time. Actually, every member of the Fantastic Four has died and come back in one way or another. This family has been through it. Doctor Doom plays a huge role in the world of the Fantastic Four. Reed and Doom are mortal enemies and Doctor Doom would do anything to mess with Mr. Fantastic in any way possible, including getting to name one of Reed and Susan's kids. Now everyone knows the Fantastic Four have had a couple movies, and some remember how bad some of them have been. Whether you like the ones from the early 2000s, or you remember how bad the 2015 movie was, the Fantastic Four haven't had the best run. But what if I told you there's another Fantastic Four movie? One deemed so bad they never actually released it. Because that was the plan all along. Today's movie, The Fantastic Four from 1994. The Fantastic Four. In the 90s, Marvel sold the rights to some of its characters. Heroes like Spider-Man and the X-Men were sold to the highest bidder to avoid Marvel's bankruptcies. This movie 
is rushed and low budgeted because Roger Corman was trying to keep the rights. It's speculated that this movie wasn't even meant to be released, just swept under the rug after it was finished. Stan Lee is quoted saying, I'm not expecting too much of it. It's the last movie to be made that we at Marvel had no control over. Our lawyers just gave the rights to Roger Corman to do the movie. There will be no other projects like that. Everything after that, we're doing ourselves. To surrender yourselves to me. For I'll wipe out New York City. <laughs> They were given a budget of only $1 million. Now, that's a lot of money, but a full superhero movie for $1 million is unheard of today. Because of this, they went with a script with not that many effects and no big name actors, which is kind of sad because looking into it, all the cast, the crew, everybody took it very seriously, believing this to be their big break. And supposedly, it's the cast or crew that released the trailer that was pulled from the public. The Thing and Mr. Fantastic went to conventions to meet fans before being told the movie would never come out. Here, take your own blood. Okay. But just like the members of the Fantastic Four, nothing ever stays dead. The film was leaked and circulated through pirated VHS tapes. But since no one today has a VHS player, someone in the world put the whole thing on YouTube. It's 90 minutes long and man, I'm kind of glad they didn't release it. This movie revolves around this large diamond. Reed needs it for the experiment, the jeweler is trying to steal it, and a mysterious third party is involved. It's Doom. Before they travel to space, the jeweler switches the diamond with a fake. This caused the experiment to fail, give them powers, and crash the ship back down to Earth. Well, what a ride, huh? oh, I can't believe it! We're here, huh? <laughs> Look at you. The jewelry thief is named The Jeweler and is the weirdest addition to this Fantastic Four movie. He, for some reason, falls in love with a blind lady. Then he holds her hostage. He's like the island of misfit toys, but for weird white dudes. I'll get back with the most precious gift. After the four crash back to Earth, Doctor Doom captures them. Now, I get it. It's the 90s on a very short budget. The Invisible Woman would be difficult to do, but I think they did fine. The Human Torch has some fire effects that are pretty good, but what the hell happened with Mr. Fantastic and The Thing? Whenever Reed uses his stretching ability, the camera cuts to the wildest thing, and The Thing, oof, fully practical face with a moving mouth and emotions that say run the hell away. So the four confront Dr. Doom and escape into the real world, where Ben is big sad because he's a pile of rocks. So he joins the jeweler's island of misfit toys. Then he comes back when they have to go fight Dr. Doom. You, give him anything he asks for. Treat him well. Rest. Now for everything poor here, there is one thing they got right. The Dr. Doom outfit is spot on if you ask me. Mask, gloves, cape, all of it but they never had the guy playing Dr. Doom come in to voice over his lines. So the audio they use is muffled because of the mask he's wearing. You know what? I wish this did come out. It would have helped for The Dark Knight Rises. Dr. Doom. Faithful Doom, 10 years ago, gave me what I am today. The finale is all right, a little anticlimactic. Johnny stops the space laser, but they definitely bit off more than they could chew on that one. The effects are 
hilarious. We get a third It's Clobberin' time, and Doctor Doom gets hit off of a cliff in three punches. <laughs> After trying to kill my friends. Again, it's on YouTube, but only watch if uh, if you really want to. The Fantastic Four suits are pretty cheap, and some of the acting is subpar, but it's an honest attempt at a Fantastic Four movie in 1994. So even though everything inside of me is telling me no, I'm giving this the Devin seal of approval for the story behind this unreleased movie. Hey, thanks for sticking around until the end. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe if you're new around here. But as always, have a lucky day tomorrow. It's clobbering time. They get their powers after try try hip hip. Oops. Playing Doctor Doom. I don't like this take. I don't like it. Start it over. Need and one. Ooh, ooh, so close. Did because they rub me a whip. Nope. It's speculated. I can't say it. I can't say it. Sprays. Bip bip bip. Fuck. This outfit is so stupid. I love it.